Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Trail Advines channel, what is up? I am Amy. If you're returning, welcome back, guys. Hopefully, you guys have had a fantastic week. So, I am going off with your sex reading. So, this is kind of the sexual energy going on with divine masculine, divine feminine. Um, if it resonates with you, fantastic. If it doesn't, just pass it along. Um, if you find something in here, or if it interests you, or if it connects with you, that's great. That's the purpose of these videos. It's kind of like um, a sexual fun. I want to try eventually to get more in depth with them, more more sexual. Um, but I find myself just just picking up the messages. Um, but I want to I want to go deeper than that. I want to like really get into the motion and really come off with like a sexual letter for you guys. So that's probably going to be in the plan after the new year. Um, but with that, I have a great message ahead for you guys, so hopefully it resonates. So one of the, the things that I'm picking up is like Divine Maslin is on his way. And I did say that um, the last couple of times is that he, here we have the Divine Maslin and he's just walking with his, you know, whatever you call that stick, whatever you call it. But I really feel like the overall message like that I'm that I'm picking up is that there's just so much sexual tension right now there's so much sexual energy and Divine Maslin just doesn't want to wait anymore like he is overflowing with emotion for Divine Feminine he like wants to get inside Divine Feminine and he is gonna go at every angle to accomplish that it's you know and I have said before in like the messages that it's not just the sex that Divine Maslin is but the sexual peace between you guys, the sexual connection, the sexual energy, the way that you guys have sex, the way that you guys kiss, whatever it is, you know, it's driving him insane being away from you because he's like, I've never had that type of spark with someone other than my divine feminine. So he's in this place where he's like, I don't care if I have to go through snakes, if I have to go through rats, if I have to go through mountains, if I have to walk my ass a distance, I am coming back. I am coming back because I want to fulfill you with everything that I have inside of me. I want to fill you up, babe. That's what I'm hearing. Um, he wants to dance with you too. I feel like if you guys haven't danced already, if you haven't had like a dancing, you know, he's been thinking about that. He's been thinking about how he can connect with you more, you know, how can you guys be intimate more without the actual sex part, you know, so... I really feel like if you guys haven't danced before, if you have danced before, like if you had like a romantic dancing evening or maybe you just were drunk and you were dancing or you're just dancing for the hell of dancing, know that that's what he's reminiscing on. Know that that's what he's thinking about Divine Feminine. But if you guys haven't had like any dancing or anything, it, it's more so he's looking at what this connection means to him now and he's like, you know what, I, I, want, I want a partner. I want someone that I can just you know, get drunk with and dance with and grind with. And, you know, I want someone that I can just pull off the couch and, and, and just start dancing with. And I want someone that, you know, we can just be spontaneous, you know, we can just do spontaneous things and, and we can be in a place of, you know, not being afraid to be ourselves, not being afraid to, you know, just, just pull ourselves in there and, and, you know, dance and feel each other and be in each other's connection. Um, and that's what I'm really seeing. And I'm like, he's definitely watching you because you can see Divine Feminine. She's just, you know, doing her thing. She's in her, you know, own space. She's she's checking out her breasts. So she might have like really big full on breasts. And, you know, it, it's that side of you that Divine Masculine really loves about you. I'm not like, I'm saying he could really, really love your big boobs. But it's more so like... The way that you are when you're in your element, the way that you are when, you know, you don't realize that he's watching you or like before when you were in connection or in union, it's this feeling of like, he used to just look at you. He used to like, I don't know why this girl or why this divine feminine loves me so much or likes me so much, but there's just this beauty about you divine feminine that is so attracted to divine masculine. He can't take his eyes off you at all. You know, he is just so smitted with you. I feel like, and I'm going to ballpark with this one, but I feel like Divine Feminine is coming through and she has like, I don't know if it's like a spell book or if, 
um she's reading like really sexual books i know that i went through that stage a few years ago where i just wanted to read all these like love sex books so i don't know if that resonates with anyone but i really feel like it's in this place where she's so high up there that he knows as a divine masculine that he will never find anyone else like her and she knows within herself that she is like this goddess and she's amazing and she's beautiful and you know she is just everything and i feel like with the high price just coming up with this card is that she's so in her element now where she's like you know what I, I don't want to sit around waiting for life to happen. I don't want to sit around waiting for nothing. You know, I know who I am. I know my worth. I know my value as a woman. I know I'm a goddess. I know I'm a queen. And I'm going to be with someone who treats me as is, right? So it's kind of like as, as the goddess is here, as, you know, the empress... She, she's sitting there and, and I feel like she's balancing. I feel like she's, <coughs> she might have two options because this for me is like two options. So she might have two different options she's looking at right now, but I feel like she's, she's ready to fight for what's hers. She, she's in this place where she's like, oh, I'm ready to fight. Justice is karma sometimes, right? So maybe she's hoping that whoever has hurt her, has burned her, will face the karma. But I feel like it's more than that this time. I feel like she's just, she's not afraid to cut what she needs to cut. So hopefully that's not anything bad. But like, she's not afraid to let go of what she needs to let go in order for her to move above, in order for her to get to a higher place. Um, and like Divine Maslin, like he is just like, he wants to do all of these naughty, naughty things to you. He just, he likes being behind. So I don't know. <clears throat> you find that your divine masculine, you know, likes being behind you, likes cuddling with you at night, likes, you know, your backside. But it's this point where he's like, he wants to pour things on you. So I don't know if this is something you guys have already done, but it's in this place where he's like, <sighs> the view and, and just watching like the liquid run down you. So again, like, I don't know if you guys have done some wax stuff or some chocolate syrup or some whipped cream or some kinky kinky stuff like that but that that's definitely like coming in strong for me is that he is he, he i don't know it's i don't know if threesomes but i don't even know if it is three threesomes it's more about you guys having that open relationship and and i don't know maybe that's what it is maybe he he's realizing that he's never going to have the same type of open relationship he did with you as he has with other people so i don't know i don't know where that's coming in but it's like divine feminine is like looking at divine divine masculine from like a point of view or just remembering like their times and stuff and she's just like he's like you instantly see your divine masculine it's like you want to rip off your clothes you instantly see your divine masculine and your your vagina your pussy your pum pum whatever you want to call it right is like jumping right so it's like you get instantly wet instantly and he gets instantly hard when he sees you so it's this thing where it's like you both you both have the same sexual tendencies for each other and this week, it's just exploding. This week, you're going to find yourself more horny. You're, this week, you're going to find yourself wanting to make love. You're, you're going to find yourself wanting to touch yourself more. You're going to find yourself, you know, really wanting that. And now it gets interesting because I have three people on this card, which tells me that there could be a third party situation where Divine Masculine has not come back yet, but he knows that you are involved with someone else. So he's kind of an outsider right now watching you be fucked by someone else and that's really doing a lot of like I don't want to say damage but it's definitely fucking with him because he's like I had the perfect opportunity to get with her to to be the man she needed me to be but I wasn't ready then and now that I see her happy I see her having sex with someone else I don't like that feeling because it makes me feel like I've lost it makes me feel like I've lost the one good thing in my life so he's really bummed out like he's really like I need my divine feminine how do I get her back I don't like hearing this I, I want my sexual partner back I want my you know I want my other half back like like the energy is it is sex yes but it's definitely more passionate for me this week it's definitely like of course I want to do all of these kinky and naughty things and I want to make love to you but I just want to hold you like I just get this 
you know, I want to hold you. He wants to cut something from you too. So, I mean, you both want, like, him cutting something from you is something that he wants to take from you, which for me represents, like, I don't necessarily, like, some people cut hair, some people, like, in this picture, he's cutting our hair. So, I don't know if that just represents that he wants to take something from you or if he, he wants to, like, have something with him when you guys are not around or when you guys are in connection so he can remember you. But that's kind of what I'm getting with that card is that he he's so submitted by not only your back area, but I definitely feel like the front area of you, like he, he just, he's in awe of you. Um, and, and making love, like he, he wants to make love with you so bad. He wants to feel inside of you. He wants to, you know, he wants to be like I said he wants to be kinky with you he definitely has this I don't know if you guys have like the 50 shades of gray relationship where you know there's like ropes and all of that good stuff if that's what you're you're into but you know he, he's thinking of you know how can I do all these 50 shades of of, of stuff with you um which wouldn't really be appropriate if you had your mother and your grandmother or something on the line siblings watching in they'd be like what the what are you doing right so I feel like that's where he's coming from this week is that he is in his thoughts he's thinking about all the dirty things he wants to do to you but he's also thinking about how much it would be nice to just be next to you to be cuddling with you and that's where the passion's coming and there's a lot of passion this week all right so this is what I have for you guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this you guys have yourself a fabulous week weekend and I'll talk to you guys soon